When the snow falls, many people rev up one of these. But who gets all the trails ready before Mother Nature adds the snow? We'll discover that and explain this as we join the club. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Champion never ends For every season there's Another reason for you to come discover Wisconsin Hey, if you're one of the many sled heads who enjoy mixing this white stuff with the need for speed and outdoor exploring or even think it might be for you, it's time to get out of the house and onto one of these. I just hope you can keep up because we're off to see how all the trails in the state are made and maintained. Come on, I'll even give you a head start. There are over 22,000 miles of groomed snowmobile trails in Wisconsin. That's more than any other state or province in North America. You can practically ride from one end of the state to the other without ever getting off your sled. Although you may want to stop and rest a few times along the way. For those who grow up riding, it's like you're born with it. But others may wonder, what's the attraction to this wintertime sport? I think it's almost like an adrenaline rush. I'm kind of not really an adventuresome person, but when I'm on my snowmobile, it's a whole nother story. I remember dad was just going so fast. <laughs> and, and that just made my day because it was the best thing ever. You see a family that plays together, stays together, and that's what we do. We just have a blast. Snowmobiling is just one of many things that we do together as a family. It's awesome to have the kids spend time with us and want to spend time, and not only them, but their friends. You know, we're fortunate to live in, a, in an area where we have four seasons. So with trail systems close to your home and a love for the outdoors in your spirit, snowmobiling may just be the perfect family sport. Modern technology not only provides a safe ride, but also helps keep you warm and comfortable no matter how long you travel. No telling what kind of stories you'll be able to share as you enjoy the scenery and wildlife you'll encounter on the back of a sled. And you'll be surprised at the number of people you'll meet along the trail. It's almost like you're creating an extended family with people that share the same passion as you do. That sense of family is even stronger and more prominent within the hundreds of snowmobile clubs in the state. The Thompsons belong to the Midnight Trail Riders. And while you don't have to become a member of a club to ride the trails, membership has its rewards. Everywhere that you go within the state, people instantly have this camaraderie of like, of, with clubs, it's like, oh, what club do you belong to? How many members do you have? And how, what, how many miles of trails? And how many counties do you cross? And, how are you uh, taking care of this problem or this state issue? And there's always uh, something that, that we can share and learn from each other. Clubs are very important in keeping trails maintained. Without the clubs, we would not have trails. The clubs are the ones that put the signs in, they get landowner permission. Without the snowmobile clubs and without the landowners and all the volunteer work, there would be no snowmobiling in the state of Wisconsin. Find out what snowmobile club is close to you by visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing snowmobiling as your destination. We'd also like to hear where your favorite places to snowmobile are on our Facebook wall. Coming up, we'll figure out how all these trails get made and we'll explain this. Stay tuned. Have you joined the club yet? It's time on Discover Wisconsin. Creating and maintaining our trail system isn't as easy as waiting for enough snow. Uh-uh. It takes a lot of time and money to provide this exciting recreational opportunity. Snowmobiling in Wisconsin is funded by snowmobilers and the nearly 600 snowmobile clubs throughout the state, which makes it extremely important to support the sport you enjoy. The money that comes from the snowmobile fund at the state level a lot of times is not nearly enough to cover all the expenses involved with putting in and maintaining our snowmobile trail system. Did you know that local snowmobile clubs maintain about 95% of all trails throughout the state? 
These gigantic pieces of equipment are not only operated by the club, but most clubs also own and maintain them as well. And that's not a cheap undertaking. This blue one here is about $165,000. The red one's about the same. Then there's the cost of operating them. This uh, thing here burns about five and a half gallons an hour of diesel fuel. We all know the price of that. We run uh, five runs a day, and, and they run four, five, six hours, depending on snow conditions. So all that cost is borne by the club. Wow, look at this come down. After a fresh snowfall like this, one of the first things I want to do is hop on the back of one of these sleds. But a lot of hard work has to happen first, and it goes on right here in one of these big boys. Let's go. Holy cow. Hey, Tom. Hey, how you doing, Emmy? Hey. Does this mean I'm driving? You are driving. Oh, boy. This is how we get new volunteers. Now, what you're going to want to do, foot on the brake. She's a little bit jumpy when you first take off. OK. OK. You're in gear. When you hit it, it's, it's literally like driving a car. I'm telling you, you are, you are definitely an official groomer driver. You're Offic doing great. I'm a groomer. You hear that? All right, so these groomers put in a lot of time. I mean, if you're if they're out to go groom a trail, how long can that take? This route can take us seven, eight hours, depending Shut on... the front door. No, it's, it's, it's true. It, it takes a dedicated, um, very generous group of volunteers that are willing to spend eight hours at a time and a groomer going eight miles an hour. This is fun. It really is. So when I say literally, I almost like grooming as much as snowmobiling. Yeah. I mean it. <laughs> yeah. Before the fun of grooming can happen, we discovered there's trail work that happens even before the trails are open. Every year, club members clear the trails to ensure a smooth and safe ride for the upcoming winter. These guys are dedicated to their sport as they are all volunteering their time. And all they want in return is snow during winter. Besides trail clearing, clubs work tirelessly to make improvements to the trails. Here, a low spot made it difficult and a little dangerous to cross. So the club worked with the landowner to install a culvert to level off the trail. Again, it was up to the volunteers to make it happen. Our club was fortunate enough to get the culverts donated through a pipe supplier. And as far as rounding up the crew here, I mean, these guys are all volunteers of the Snowmobile Club. And a lot of people don't understand that unless they're a member. They just think that, well, the state puts the trails in or the counties, and, and, and that's not the case. I mean, it's all done by volunteer and club members, so it's important to join a local club. And this is the stuff that, this is what happens throughout the state. While the clubs do the majority of the work on the trails, it's another vital group of people that really make our trail system possible, landowners. We feel it's very important to, to let the trail run through our property because when the businesses around us thrive, then our business thrives, and, and we want to be a part of that. You see, over 75% of Wisconsin trails cross private property. And every year, local clubs visit every landowner to discuss where the trail can pass through their property. Once the trail has been determined, the club is once again back to work, this time putting up signs to make sure riders stay on the trail. So John, preparing the trails for riders is nothing new to you. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about uh, 30 years. Wow. I think it's 30. <laughs> Can't count that high. Too many years. <laughs> yeah. With that much experience, John was the perfect person to show me exactly how to install trail signs. There was a lot of hammering. <laughs> more hammering. And even more hammering. Actually, this is warming me up. <laughs> and to think we only covered about a quarter mile of trail. How neat is it for you to be out here having worked on these trails for 30 years? Your son, Ben, is working on them with you. And then you can take your granddaughter out on the trails and everybody has a great time. Oh yeah, it's, it, I, I guess it's just a, one, of, one of the greatest things. I don't know how to explain it. It's a wonderful thing. It takes a lot of work and effort to do this. The club needs as many members as possible to support all this. Get involved and get on the trail. 
Log on to our website and choose snowmobiling as your destination to find a club near you. When we come back, we're seeing how snowmobilers stay busy in the off season. And a little later, we already teased snowmobiles running with no snow, but now on water, stay with us. We're back, joining the club on Discover Wisconsin. So we talked about the hundreds of clubs who make it their mission to manage Wisconsin's snowmobile trail system, but there has to be a way all these clubs can work together to make the sport even better. The Association of Wisconsin Snowmobile Clubs is dedicated to the preservation of snowmobiling in Wisconsin and monitor regulations that could affect the sport. From its humble beginnings of five clubs in 1969, the association now represents nearly 600 clubs and provides education and information for all of its members. The Association of Wisconsin Snowmobile Clubs was formed to uh, bring snowmobilers together to exchange ideas and, and talk about how to best manage and maintain our trail system. Every year, AWSC holds a workshop where clubs from around the state gather to discuss any and all snowmobile topics. In the general session, individuals are recognized for their contributions and commitment to the sport. A keynote speaker also discusses some of the hot topics within the industry. Breakout sessions cover everything from safety instructor recertification to the importance of a club website and how to successfully operate a club. There's also the opportunity to take a look at some of the new grooming equipment for the upcoming season. Contestants also gather at the workshop in hopes of being crowned Miss Snowflake Queen. Miss Snowflake actually spends her reign traveling around the state representing our association. I heard about the contest from my, from my snowmobile club and they said that's a good way you know, to represent our club and so that's why I wanted to do it. It excites me to be able to be more involved in the snowmobiling community um, across Wisconsin. I would love to represent Wisconsin in this manner and the AWSC is so important that um, it would be an honor to be a part of it. Well, um, there's lots of benefits from entering it. You can get a scholarship, there's, and you meet new, lots of new people. In addition to a scholarship, the Snowflake Queen gets to ride a new snowmobile during her reign. Some of the information learned at the workshop is taken back to train others. Here, a local club is testing out members of their snowmobile safety class. After classroom education, each student must pass a hands-on test to be certified, making sure even the youngest rider is a safe snowmobiler. You like this one? Okay. We caught up with the Thompsons, our snowmobiling family from earlier in the show, at Snowmobile USA in Milwaukee. Oh, I could use one of those. Shows like this offer a chance to see the new gadgets, toys, and accessories for the upcoming season. There's also a swap meet for private sellers to buy and sell just about anything related to snowmobiling. Wondering what's the latest and greatest snowmobile gadget this year? Just visit discoverwisconsin.com and select snowmobiling as your destination for snow show dates. While you're there, you can also discover who this year's snowflake queen is. The time is almost here. Up next, we're finally explaining why these racers are getting all wet. We're continuing to snowmobile through the state on Discover Wisconsin. It's finally time to reveal why these people are snowmobiling without snow. This is one of the many events snowmobile clubs put on to not only extend the snowmobile spirit throughout the year, but also to raise money for the season. The Trailmates in Wausau host the largest snowmobile and ATV swap meet in Wisconsin during this grass drag event. And you don't have to be a diehard snowmobiler to enjoy it. Families come from all around the area to catch the action. Uh, this event may be a little harder to imagine. What started out as some guys in a garage basically seeing how far they could take a snowmobile across the lake before it sank has turned into a major racing event with a sanctioned racing association and it's turned into an event that brings 12 to 15,000 people to our town over a three day event. Since 1977, Grantsburg has been home to this unique event. And with its growth, more and more people are needed to keep it fun for everyone. 
So each year we bring in any nonprofit that would like to work and get hours for their group, their organization. We bring them in, we give them shifts, and we uh, let them fill our hours. It takes hundreds and hundreds of hours and manpower to put this event on. While this really is a fun event that draws families from all over, the question still remains, why would anyone race a perfectly good snowmobile across a lake? It's wonderful to be able to come out on a warm, sunny uh, summer day and race snowmobiles. It's easy to see that a lot of these snowmobile events wouldn't happen without the dedication of the hundreds of snowmobile clubs throughout Wisconsin. And while most of these events are used to raise money to support the local trails, some are used for special causes. If you've heard of snowmobiling, you probably know the World Championship Snowmobile Derby in Eagle River. It's the granddaddy of all snowmobile races. Well, since 2009, a special group of spectators have been invited to the Derby. It's all part of the military honor ride. And these guys do so much, whether they're active, reserve, National Guard, or whatever, you know. And so we come up with this concept and said, hey, we're gonna give them a free ride, you know, and everything free. So we get a few sponsors, manufacturers for sleds and a few little motels. They can come in Sunday and get a free ticket to go watch the Sunday if they wanna come in. It's all paid for. So it's pretty neat. They really enjoy it and, and, and they deserve it and we love to do it. Their adventure doesn't stop after the champion has been crowned. The very next day, they gather back at the Derby track to begin a 100 mile trip through Northern Wisconsin. Many of these people have never even been on a snowmobile before. Fortunately, they're all given operational and safety instructions before they ride. We woke up this morning all sorts of excited when we saw the snow piled on all the cars, so. It's an honor, you know, it, it feels good that people appreciate what we do. So it's always nice to get those little perks. <laughs> we want to show our appreciation by putting people on a snowmobile and uh, also introduce them to what we consider to be a great family sport. This special trip is sponsored by the Association of Wisconsin Snowmobile Clubs, Decker Snow Venture Tours, the Derby Track, and all four snowmobile manufacturers. The Association of Wisconsin Snowmobile Clubs got involved with the military ride, as we call it, because it was a good thing to do. A way to recognize our veterans, perhaps offer them some opportunities that they haven't had before. Donations from people like you also help to provide even more trips to show respect to our nation's finest. When you see members of uh, Wisconsin's uh, communities uh, come out there and extend a hand to uh, her veterans, it's wonderful, it's, it's heartfelt, and it means a lot. Snowmobiling will always be tied to Wisconsin, and rightfully so since the snowmobile was invented here. So whether you're just thinking about giving it a try, or you've been a lifelong sledder, your local snowmobile club is the best resource for snowmobiling anywhere in Wisconsin. Riding in one of these may be just as fun as snowmobiling itself, but there's only one way you can get behind the wheel of this big machine. Join a club and you too can make a difference. Just visit discoverwisconsin.com and search snowmobiling to find a club near you. I'm Emmy Fink and we'll see you out on the trail discovering Wisconsin. You know, Wisconsin is filled with so many exciting things to do. So travel Wisconsin and find out for yourself. There's a destination just waiting to be discovered by you. For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past seasons. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. Let's call it a day. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs>